Hi friends, it's Mr. Wedge, and today we're going to do an e ancient Egyptian sarcophagus, which is like a coffin they'd put a mummy in, in ancient Egypt. And they're not just like a box. Well, sometimes they were, but we're going to do one that's a little bit fancier, kind of like King Tut's. And this is just light cardboard that's easy to cut. And I also have a Sharpie, I've got a paintbrush, some scissors, I've got gold paint, and I've got some stick-on jewels. So. I'm going to start by outlining the sarcophagus. The sarcophagus is basically shaped like a person, so it's going to be round at the top, like half a circle. And then you're going to kind of curve around almost like an S for the shoulders. And then it's going to go, the sides are going to go down, but they're going to go in a little bit. So down and just in a little bit. So it gets smaller where the feet would be and then you can just kind of round it off and make it flat at the bottom. So there's the, sh the basic shape. So now that I have that, I can cut it out. Now that I cut out the shape of my sarcophagus, I can flip it over. I'm going to write my name on the back and also my class code. 3 dash something flip it back over and I can paint it. I'm going to use a kind of paint that doesn't wash out easily so I'm going to put my uh, sarcophagus on a piece of scrap paper. I've got some gold paint. I'm just going to paint the whole thing. Go right to the edges and if you're working on scrap paper you don't need to worry about cleaning your table. I'm going to let that dry and I want it extra gold so when it's dry I'm going to put another coat of gold paint on it. You don't have to do two coats of paint but I just want to. But when I'm done I do have to wash my brush out before the paint dries on it. The paint on my sarcophagus is all dry, so now I'm going to draw on it with a sharpie. And I'm going to start by figuring out where the head would be. I'm going to do kind of a rounded line at the top, and then I'm going to curve around underneath for the face. You can add ears on the side. Up near the top you can draw eyes, so I'm going to do two football shapes. And you can actually draw little lines that go right off the edge. It's kind of how uh, ancient Egyptians used to do their eye makeup. I'm going to put little dots inside and eyebrows. And then the nose could just be basically like a triangle. And then I do a big line for the mouth and then a little line underneath. But you could do the face how you want. You could also do um, other things like a headdress and hieroglyphics, but we need the arms crossed because when Egyptians were posed, in the inside this coffin as a mummy they'd have their arms crossed and the coffin would look like that too, the sarcophagus. And the right hand would go on top of the left one. So I'm going to do two lines for each arm. So I'm going to start down at the left, kind of under the under this ear. And I'm going to go up and to the right. But I'm going to do two lines for the arms. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to start over on the right. I'm going to go up and to the left, but when I hit this arm, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to keep going out the other side, kind of like that. And like I said, we're going to do two for each arm, so I'm going to do it again. So I stop, and then I keep going. So there's some overlapping. Looks like this arm is on top of this one. And I'm going to put uh, just a square at the end for the hand with a little triangle shape for the thumb. And I'll do that for both. There's a square with a little triangle shape for the thumb. Now this hand would be holding uh, something called a crook. Or no, sorry, this hand would be holding... So this hand would be holding a flail, and this hand would be holding a crook. And so it would look like a hook, and this would look like a whip. But I'm not going to add that. You can if you want. But I am going to do a line right down the middle or two lines down the middle. I'm gonna do a but I am gonna do a strip right down the middle and I'm gonna do a little line at the bottom and this represents where the feet 
would be, I think I'll do a headdress too. So this is almost like a crown in ancient Egypt that the pharaoh would wear. I'm going to give him a beard too. It's like a fake beard. It's another thing that uh, the king would have. Once you have that, you can add other patterns if you want. There's different things you could do. You could color in your patterns. You could add hieroglyphics. And then you can add some jewels to it wherever you want. So that's an Egyptian sarcophagus. Work hard and have fun.